Welcome. My name is Kevin Joback. I am president of Molecular Knowledge Systems. In this presentation, I will very briefly demonstrate the professional edition of Cranium. Given only a chemical's molecular structure or a mixture's composition, Cranium can estimate the values of more than 30 physical properties. Cranium is available in four different product editions. A professional edition, a basic edition, a web server edition, and a component edition. The professional edition provides an extensive Windows interface, physical property data management, physical property estimation, and capabilities for graphing, reporting, and machine learning. The defining feature of the professional edition is that it enables you to create new documents, add new property data, enter new molecular structures, add new references, and even write new estimation techniques. You can use the professional edition of Cranium to create a storehouse for your corporate chemical knowledge. For example, here we are using the professional edition of Cranium to work with the MKS examples knowledge base. This knowledge base contains data on chemicals, mixtures, estimation techniques, groups, elements, and references. Looking at a specific chemical, we see that the knowledge base contains data on descriptive properties, molecular structure, constant properties, critical properties, thermodynamic properties, temperature dependent properties, and many more. Each datum stored within the knowledge base contains a value, an accuracy, units of measure, a reference, and comments. And in addition to data, Cranium can estimate more than 30 physical properties. Comparing these estimated values with experimental values, we see the agreement is typically very good. The real power of Cranium is shown when we need to add a new chemical to our knowledge base, perhaps a proprietary chemical for which very little physical property data are known. To add a new chemical, we add a new page to the chemicals chapter. We enter the chemical's name, and then the chemical's molecular structure. We can begin with a standard structure, which we can modify as needed. Given only the chemical's structure, Cranium will use group contribution techniques and equation-based techniques to estimate more than 30 physical properties. To generate estimates for temperature-dependent properties, we enter a series of temperatures. and then ask Cranium to calculate estimates. The graph shows that Cranium estimated the vapor pressure over the series of entered temperatures. The graph also shows diamonds, the estimated values, in two different colors.
This indicates that Cranium decided to use two different estimation techniques. At the lower temperature, Cranium decided to use the gomez nido thotos equation. At the higher temperature, Cranium decided to use the Ambrose-Walton method. Cranium made these decisions based on a set of applicability and accuracy rules associated with each of these estimation techniques. One very powerful capability of Cranium is that you can modify these rules, tailoring them, and thus Cranium's estimation ability, to those chemicals of most importance to you. Also, as we obtain experimental data on our new chemical, perhaps if we obtain an experimental boiling point, we can add those values into our knowledge base and then tell Cranium to re-estimate our physical property estimates. Cranium will always use data when they are available. Just as you can create new chemicals, new mixtures can also be created, even mixtures containing our newly entered component. And just as you can create new chemicals and new mixtures, you can create new estimation techniques tailored for the chemicals of most importance to you. In addition to knowledge bases, Cranium can generate and manage documents containing reports, graphs, and Cranium can even learn new estimation techniques from data. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please contact us if you would like more information about the professional edition of Cranium, would like a personal demonstration, or, as always, if you have any questions about physical properties or physical property estimation. Thank you.